Kontayen, I am Street Fury Estate. Welcome back to my channel. As I uh, promised, I want to talk about two topics today. One of them is how to create a Google My Business listing uh, if it doesn't ex exist already. And then the second one is how, how to connect two Street View tours together so you can move from one to the other. I could have maybe done two uh, separate videos for these two topics but I have so many other topics I want to talk about so I thought I would hit two birds with one stone in this one. So if you remember the bookshop that I did uh, had a coffee shop upstairs so uh, and it just so happens that the uh, coffee shop doesn't have a Google My Business listing so uh, we'll create that together and then uh, I will show you how to connect those two tours together so you can move from one to the other so let's look at go through the coffee shop name is uh, Ruplan and it not, does not appear here so the best way is to go to maps.google.com and zoom into the place where the um, coffee shop is or business so it's right here on this corner so I just right click on it you just add a missing place so I'll just type in the name I'll put in as much information as I can and sent this, in my experience, just takes a few minutes. So I just got the email. It took uh, just nine minutes uh, to, to, to publish. And it might take longer for you if you have not uh, contributed anything. They might be faster with uh, regular contributors. Or um, let's see, or I might be totally wrong. It might not make any difference. So you won't be able to search for it yet on the go through. So you need to find the CID. So to see that you press uh, C or change. And uh, here it is, Ruplan. And all I do is copy the URL. And then I go to go through and uh, where I uh, have created, started creating the tour, I press on find CID. Or if you're not on go through, you can go to cidfinder.com. Um, so this is a website created by go through, and I just copy paste it and find it. So take this uh, number here and put it into the search, and I just can uh, create it right away. Let's see if that works. Yep, yeah, Ruplan. So what I'm going to do now is upload the panels. Okay, so now all the panels have been uploaded and uh, we can start moderating the tour. And I'm going to start by identifying the panels which connect to the bookshop. So that's this one. Um, over here, let's move to satellite view. Um, so satellite view makes it easier to identify the locations. Um, I have um, the bookshop open here. Let's also move to satellite view and uh, we're gonna find the panel which uh, connects to the bookshop which is on the second floor number 38. Okay. Um, let's write that down. Number 38 connects to panel number one. And um, it's just below this white thing here. Let's move it uh, a little bit above it. And let's look in the direction of the panel and turn it so it would connect over here. 
Let's look back here. Yeah, I think that's good. And um, let's find the other panel. That's number five. Let's close this one first. And double click on number five. It shows up here. And let's find the uh, panel that's actually uh, on the floor below us. On the first floor. I think it's this one, number 32. Yeah. Okay, so number 32 connects to panel number 5. And it's just on the edge here of this grey wall. So let's move this one to here and aim down the stairs and aim the panel till he around here. So now we can uh, connect those two panels together. I think it's a little bit more like this. And let's uh, look the other way. A little bit more. Okay, that's fine. Um, so I'm gonna build the rest of the tour and back, get back to you when I finish. Alright, that's finished. I built the tour and I also blurred the faces uh, of any customers and staff and also blurred the tripod. And uh, I need to now publish it to Street View so that uh, because Google will generate the panel ID and I use those IDs to connect the two tours together. Now I've got an email from GoThrough uh, confirming that the publish has finished. Um, it only took around 13 minutes. Um, and by that time I, I can uh, do the next step even though the connections take longer. Um, I actually had to step away and, and it's uh, next day so uh, the connections have finished but um, that doesn't uh, change much for the next step. And that is to establish the connections between the two tours which is the most important part of this entire tutorial and to do that let's go to the tour of the bookshop and hit edit and from there you get a list of all the panels and let's find panel number 32 which is in floor number one all the way at the bottom and you Press on the number 32 to bring up some information about the panel and we are most interested in this uh, panel ID code. So let's copy this code and uh, bring up the coffee shop and we want to connect it to panel number 5. So let's press on number 5. And all the way at the bottom there it says add connection to another tour. Paste the code in there and that's it. So uh, go through will generate the link between those two. Um, so you don't need to do it the same thing in the other tour. Uh, but we do actually need to connect the other panel 38 to number 1. So let's go to floor number 2 and here's panel number 38 and do the same thing, copy the code and find panel number 1 and uh, add connection to another tour. And that's it. Now we are able to review the connection between those uh, panels um, because you were kind of doing it blindly 
go through automatically locks the connections you can see that here and number one and two that's from the other tour so let's just uh, preview the, this connection here that's uh, okay and the other way yeah that's actually quite a good connection quite good guesswork and then from uh, this one let's go down uh, it's not 100% out prefer to the arrow to point this way to do that I don't want to really change the con connection here so let's lock that by right clicking and uh, remove the lock here and then I just turn this one until the arrow faces the way I want so let's preview this and the other way Okay, that's good. Maybe I just check the connection here. Yeah, that's not too bad. And ready to save this and um, republish it. Okay, now we can go into tools and uh, view contribution. Let's open up this one. Okay, the connection downstairs not appearing yet. Let's check when I do embedded. Okay, here is the connection. As visible so that's usually what I do when I want to preview the connection um, is to go into embed and then I can see all the connection are visible now I was gonna say that uh, go through is the only platform that can do this but um, on Upon further investigation, I found out that actually Pano 2 VR does the uh, exact same thing and actually is a little bit easier. You don't need to go through the whole process of first publishing it and then fixing it and uh, so on. So what I've done is just I've uh, imported the four panels which um, are connected and I've linked them together and... All I need to do is open the Street View tab. Um, here I've had my account linked. And then you select, this is the, um, from the books. No, this is the coffee shop. I'll select both of them and hit the plus icon here. And that brings up a list of the closest um, Google My Business accounts from from the GPS coordinates so the book uh, the, the coffee shop is here and then this is the bookshop and the plus icon and I'll just select the bookshop that's all I need to do and then hit publish of course I published through the go through account so I'm not gonna do that but it's extremely simple in Final 2 VR. Of course, you need to buy the program. There's no subscription. But, um, yeah, I, I thought it was important to mention it. And I am planning to do a Pano 2 VR tutorial um, if there is enough interest in it. So, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful and learn something and uh, if you have any Google Street View uh, related questions you can leave them in the comments and uh, I read all comments and try to answer all of them uh, and then um, yeah as always uh, if there's any update to the topic of this video I will leave it in the magic box down below and see you in the next one just before publishing this uh, video, I realized that probably the most common question I will get in the comment section is 
how do I connect my Street View tour to uh, someone else's tour or the Street View car or something like that. So the bad news is that you can only connect your tour manually to your own tours. So that means you can't connect it to uh, someone else's tours or the Street View car, at least uh, not ma manually. Uh, it, you might be connected to the Street View car automatically uh, if you are close enough to the street uh, or to someone else's uh, blue line if um, again if it's uh, close enough so yeah that's that's the bad news and uh, also I found out at least that not at the moment you're not able to connect your tour to your own um, blue line that you have generated through a video mode so uh, Again, it might happen automatically, but um, if, it, if you publish through video mode, uh, then um, you can't manually connect them. And if you don't know what uh, video mode is, uh, I have a video coming up um, later where I explain it. So, yep, yeah, that's it. Uh, again, if you have any further uh, questions related to this, uh, if, if you want f further clarification, then uh, ask in the comments and uh, yeah, bye bye.